Hey there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here once again. Recently, we released a new Think Plus board that uses the Nora W306 module from Ublox. Now, there's a lot to love about this module. It's uh, dual processors, dual band Wi-Fi, it's low power consumption, and today actually I want to take a look at that third thing and share a little bit of that with you. Now, we've made it real easy to measure the current draw on this board. If you were to look at the back, there's a little jumper here marked MEAS, you know, for measure. We've got a short example sketch that'll make it really easy to measure the current draw and how low it can go. Um, you can find that in the Think Plus Nora hookup guide. I believe it's Arduino example seven, or you can find it on our GitHub repo. Now what this example does is it will put the board into deep sleep mode. It will stay there and then after five seconds using the timer function, it will wake the board up, blink the onboard LED five times just so you know that something is actually happening and then go back into deep sleep mode. And this is when you can measure the current. I mean, you can measure it the whole time but that's when you can see just how low a current draw you can get. Now, I've uploaded the sketch here, and then what you'll want to do is disconnect the USB-C cable and power it via a 3.3 volt LiPo battery. This way, the CP2102, the LiPo charger, and the 3.3 volt regulator aren't all drawing current. That'll help get your current draw really low. Now, I should take a minute here because I'm sure there are some of you out there watching that don't know how to measure current draw. I know when I first started, I didn't care what the current draw was. I saw an example, I copied the example, it worked. I didn't care what the current draw was. But at some point, it's going to be something you're going to need to know. You're going to want to know how to do, and you're going to need to do in your projects. So I wanted to take a quick second and talk about that with you. Meet me over at camera two. So here we have a super simple circuit. Three volts of power coming from a pair of batteries running up through a resistor, an LED. The LED lights up. Couldn't be easier, and we want to measure how much current is going through here. So what we'll need to do is break the circuit, and then we can use our multimeter to recomplete the circuit. So we'll hook this lead up to this end, this lead up to this end, and we'll want to turn our dial to the A area. We'll go with, let's see, 200, we can probably get away with 20. So yeah, if we go with 20, milliamps, we see the circuit is complete again, and we're reading right here on our meter, 12.71. That's our, that's our amperage going through here, 12.71 milliamps. It's that easy. So as I mentioned, we've given you a really easy way to measure the current draw here. That little measure jumper on the back, all you need to do is take a blade, and there's a little trace in between those two holes. You can cut that trace, and then uh, use your multimeter, use the continuity function just to make sure that is in fact broken, and now you're ready to go. Once we do that, we can plug in our battery here, and we will notice that nothing happens. That's because we've broken the circuit. What we need to do now is complete the circuit, and we do that with our multimeter. We'll take our two prongs. We have it set on A for amperage 200. I'll put it at 200 milliamps. I know it won't go that high, but I think it might go when it's being powered above 20, which is our next option down. So we take this and we will connect these to the board and we can see the power light come on. We now have completed our circuit. Uh, let's see, okay, our LED is blinking and we're somewhere around 22 and a half milliamps. Okay, now it should go back into deep sleep mode and our power consumption has dropped to 0 0.8 milliamps. That's impressive. And if we wanted, we could get it even lower than that. Uh, there is a trace on the back that you can cut for the power LED too. There are other ways to get this down even lower, but I think in deep sleep, less than one milliamp is pretty good. So there's a quick look at the low power draw on this Think Plus with the Nora W306. And that was without really altering the board at all. I mean, other than cutting the trace so that we could measure the current draw, I didn't cut the trace for the onboard power LED. I mean, there are ways to get this draw even lower. And I think that's one of the really cool features of this module. Now I know there are other things you want to see. You want to see it, you want to see it scan for Wi-Fi networks. You want to see it connect to 2.4 or 5 gig networks. You want to see it interact with the micro SD card, tons of stuff. And we've got almost a dozen examples in the hookup guide. So you can go through and look at every one of those. Seriously, go check it out. This is a sweet little board. So until next time, stay safe, be kind and happy hacking. Recently, as you may recall, we released a new, what's it called? And this one uses the U-Blocks really easy uh, to measure. I'm sure there's a whole lot of, wait, there's something else I wanted to say in there that I just thought of.